So how can you track that text that looks so good? Uh, so I've selected one clip, so it's just clip of the beach, and yeah, I already put some uh, adjustments to it. Um, I put my LUT, so over here is like uh, just ungraded footage straight from the camera, and this is with my LUT. It gives nice, nice feel to it. Okay, so first thing we need to do, we we'll start with replacing the sequence with after effects composition so, and we're just gonna name the project how to track perfect i am using uh the uh, premiere pro and after effects beta version because they're testing a bunch of bunch of stuff out and i like the premiere betas um audio section where you can like you don't have to use Adobe podcast anymore to enhance your audio. You just can you can just do that in the premiere straight in. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's get into it. Go to the tracker menu and select track camera. And you want to select advanced. So we want to click not detailed analysis. This might it might take a bit longer, but the after effects is going to track the points better and uh, it also it also depends on the clip of how long is the clip the more render time is going to take so yeah it should show up points okay you see all these little dots and you want the track point so you see that red circle so we're just going to select it here right click and create text and camera now you can probably see the text, but you see text over here, it's flat. So we're just gonna straighten it out with this. Okay, so it's pretty nice. Then we'll make it maybe a bit smaller, because it's quite big. Click on text, and then double click, and then we can change whatever we want. Okay, for example, we'll say, welcome to Florida. Over here then you can if you want you can drag it to one side like this then when you go through the text is tracked on onto the beach straight onto the beach perfect look at that <laughs> for example if I want to move the text forward to me and I, I want to go go like through the letters then it's easy just look <laughs> okay then for example we want to move it to one side then on the Z axis you want to push it forward then on Y axis push it down a bit like that okay now the text a bit is a bit too big I'm gonna make it a bit smaller so we can uh, see and go maybe through the text let's adjust it like that and when we move forward you see it's a bit closer and now it went through the text see it wiggles a bit here that's why you need to sometimes track the text on the water but i don't know if you can usually do that so if it happens you just go to the 3d tracker click on transform down here and when you see the place where it like wiggles a bit like here you just delete a few of the keyframes and when you do that, oops, it doesn't wiggle anymore. So yeah. And then once you're done and you're good with your edit, I usually like to add a bit of glow. So I go to effects and presets. I type in glow, uh, grab it and put on welcome to Florida. And you see, then it gives that little glow to the text. Okay. And then we just hit command S, save it and flip back to Premiere. And yeah, the clip is here. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Hope this really helped you. And now you can make those viral videos yourself. Drop a like and subscribe for more videos like these. And yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.